Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer. Eventually. People are saying it's you. That these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No. Someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Circonos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Circonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsay? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. 
Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Father! Your sword can't still my heart. you in cold marble. No! Sweet girl, over time you will come to love me. Perhaps someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to Cauldron <gasps> Prison until her trial. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what happened? Ah! It'll be all, Captain Mayhew. No! So that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. What, what happened? Alexei, the throne room. Father! Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is... he's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Alexei? I'm sorry. Goodbye. Emily, I know times are hard. You're the ruler of four nations. And I won't pretend to understand the pressure you're under. Only you, and your mother before you, could know what that's like. Whoever's killing off your enemies is doing so for calculated effect. Undermining us. I do know what it's like to be blamed for murders you didn't commit, but trust me, we'll find this crown killer, and they'll pay. Tomorrow is the anniversary of her death. A sad day for sure. But I want you to remember all that's happened over the last 15 years. You've held on to the throne, and you've done what you thought was right for the people of the Empire. You drained the flooded district, kept the gangs in check, and yesterday we launched a magnificent ship bearing Jessamine's name. You're becoming the sovereign your mother wanted you to be, and I'm proud of you. With the throne room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I have searched the royal chambers, assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Huh, this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the King and Queen of Morley, did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the Buntings and the Boyles, 
cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Ramsay's family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. This won't leave my hand again. Anton Sokolov made this lock. I spent so many nights in here after the Rat Plague. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Pretty sure I saw someone. Getting someone can't even. Oh, hey. be damned! What's going on here? You hear that? Huh? This one. Oh, take cold no. Take this. Oh, you little shit! You aren't going anywhere! No! Oh, damn it! Revenge! Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway, and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the South, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton, but Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? You ready yet? Let's set out for Karnaka. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. What is this place? Where am I? I can feel something moving closer, watching. Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. 
What is that? It feels familiar. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. And in thousands of years, few have seen this place. Three were empresses. Delilah slid a man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Survival and ambition, arts and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off-kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out, but I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka's the southernmost port in the Empire, once proud but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm going to get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. All right. You've explained part of it, but what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. The new duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers, the Crown Killer. 
Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty, I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity. It concerns the murders happening across the Empire, committed by this so-called Crown Killer. When I left Crystal years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things, and some good, before and after the Rat Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestone smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen from you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <sighs> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. I'd take you to Adamir by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland, and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head down. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The Alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adermeyer. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. My name's Mindy Blanchard, and you look like someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Wanna help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. Can you help me with that? Yeah, I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry, he's already dead. A body? That's odd. From where? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it, then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll think about it. Good job. Take this. I won't ask you why you needed that. So how do I get to Adermeyer? I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. On the other side, there's a station that will take you to Adermeyer. Better than nothing. Thanks for your help. I've seen cities go bad before. Smelled the rot. So have you. Fifteen years ago in Dunwall. Did you miss it? That year that made you who you are? Don't deny it. Rats in the cradle, 
Black smoke rising from burning bodies. An entire city crying out. Now it's happening again. Welcome back. Welcome home. People like you and the Crown Killer are a part of places like this. The Adermeyer Institute of Infectious Disease. Alexandria Hypatia, chief alchemist. Once it was a solarium for pampered aristocrats recuperating from their imagined ills. Now it's a place of alchemical study. The Crown Killers taking lives in my name, which is about to end. They say Dr. Hypatia's brilliant, but if she's involved with the murders, she's going to pay. I so enjoy watching history warp as words pass from the lips of one to the ears of another. Imperfectly formed, half understood, poorly remembered. In the years to come, the story of the crown killer will be twisted and bent, hammered like soft metal. By some accounts, a monster that had to be put down. By others, a victim of treachery. Preserved, because in the end, you found another way. But you'll always remember the truth, won't you? Your truth, at least. Are you... are you all right? <laughs> Dr. Hypatia did this. She's the crown killer. But she's not herself. She d developed a serum trying to help the miners. The first version caused horrible changes to her mind. <clears throat> it's too late for me, but maybe you can still save her. She's a good person. What can I do? In my safe, in disease treatment, you'll figure out how to make the counter serum help her. The safe code is 312. I've always wondered what your flesh tastes like, my dear assistant. Disgusting. Sleep. I won't go. I won't give it back. Dr. Hypatia? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No. Someone was poisoning you. But you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale. Can we leave this place yet? I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's get back to the ship. Did you find Sokolov? No. But Hypatia was the crown killer. What? I don't believe you. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, 
But there was an antidote, so she's alive. If she remembers the murders, she'll have to deal with that. What about Sokolov? They gave him to a man named Kieran Jindosh. Do you know him? Everybody knows him. The grand inventor of Sirkonos. Then he's next. Let's hope Anton's all right. In his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. His inventions transformed the city. I watched from the tower as they changed the capital into a prison, and listened as he drank and laughed, telling my mother time and again how brilliant he was. After her death, Sokolov's inventions helped a tyrant take control of the Empire. Now, all these years later, Kieran Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. The mad inventor who's given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. I've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and kill the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Dr. Hypatia, can you remember anything that might help me? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He could be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him, but something bad happened. <sighs> Just snatches a memory. <laughs> Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not... Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, and they'll call down the entire city if they find out who you are. I'll make sure they don't. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station? Yes. But there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Corvo taught me the theory. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. Emily, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. Someone there? Now's not the time for a nap. Strike at me! I thought I saw someone right here. I'll be wiping here. off your Don't blood! Don't let her escape! No By the outsiders, Harry Ars! Let him go! I hit hard! You hide your face! Let's see what you've got! Ah. End of the road for you! Uh. Ah. Somebody's not feeling well! I don't know you. I'm new to Karnaka. I need a tool that can rewire a wall of light, the kind the Grand Guard uses, and I'd prefer not to explain myself. I can help you out, but not right now. Don't even linger here. I'm supposed to get a visit from Paolo, someone you don't want to meet. Come back later. Understood. <laughs> New cutters, short blades, the good stuff. Morley steel. I know what you mean. Do you? Because last time you gave me some backwater foundry garbage that wouldn't hold an edge and snapped against Grand Guard armor. I got taken on that deal too. But I'll make it up to you, Paolo. Lop off maybe 10%? 30. 
Because I like you. By next week. That's fair. I made a bad faith trade and I regret it. You'll have the cutters, I promise. Good, good. These are strange times. Overseers in the Dust District, a witch empress, and these clockwork soldiers protecting the aristocracy. All bad for business. But if I get my way, Karnaka will be a different city a year from now. Who do we have here? I wonder why your face is covered, lady. That's my business. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Paolo. In this part of town, everything's my business. And slumming rich kids should remember all that etiquette they learned. Maybe you need another lesson. Is that what you came down here for? Beat it. This will be your only warning. Mistake. I'll crush you, you parasite! No running. Come back here! Oh, get away! She won't go anywhere! I'll cut you in half. I'll keep that nice scarf of yours. This won't take long. You shouldn't have wandered outside without bodyguards, my lady. I can't believe you're alive after crossing Paolo. I trained with better. Much better. I'll tell you a story about Kirin Jindosh, the Duke's grand inventor. Once he was commissioned to make a toy for a six-year Tivian noble girl. Jindosh worked for three months and built a machine composed of wood, brass, and the bones of several cats. It ran on a few drops of whale oil a day. The little girl was told she would have a special treat, and she was perfectly delighted until the moment it was activated. She lives at an asylum up at Dabakfa now, and will until the end of her days. I can see Jindosh's mansion from here. The gate's down. I'll need the code. Now that I see you, I've worked out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat. Your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You've trained with weapons formerly, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a good back alley in your movements. All that, and you have your father's eyes, your imperial majesty. Welcome, Lady Emily Caldwin. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Enemy. The very pinnacle 
Save your strength. I came to take you out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. <laughs> You did it. How is he? 
He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The Outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. But I want to come call my Jessamine. I told you, when you were older, perhaps next year. You said that last year. Jessamine is younger than me, and she's a court every day. Jessamine is... well... it's complicated. We'll understand someday. What did I do? I'll be good, I swear. Next year, I promise. During the day, Jessamine and I played games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me your name? We were just playing. Young lady Jessie, what is your account of It was her! Delilah's lie! She broke it! Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Her sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, He's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. I'm with you, even in the void. If only I could do more. Mother? That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, 
as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. Some of them have made their beds, Alexandria. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There'll be a grand guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. The job ain't so bad. What? Each I'll break you your face. You don't stand any back. chance. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Ah. Me. Someone! Anyone! You're not so proud now, are you? Huh? Next time. What? Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The Overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracula Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order. So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Look at you, leaving a trail of bloody boot prints across this dying city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage 
and a late night plunge into an icy river. But just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. I do now. I'm ruined. That feeling. The things I could do. The touch of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things. That I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. You never know who to trust, do you? Everybody makes mistakes, Empress. You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. <laughs> 